Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, wow. So now y'all gonna give us some new shit. Y'all really be waiting until forever to let us know y'all gonna give us some new shit. Just disappearing. It's not like I do anything like that. But anyway, new news on Wednesday. Gamescom for seafood. I'm here for it. No bull. Now, there really hasn't been any new information on Sifu since the delay we got a few weeks ago. So right now, at this moment, I decided I'm going to just have to start making vids on what we could see and what I'd like to see. And yes, gameplay vids for other games with martial arts slash anime based focuses are coming while we wait. But for today, let's talk about the four new gameplay clips Slow Clap has given us on the Sifu Game Twitter account. Now, y'all realize that the moves we see in a few of these clips we've already seen in some of the trailers they've released. And of course, we can't get new Sifu clips without at least one of them being in the nightclub and in this case two out of the four new clips were in the nightclub getting multiple new clips of seafood gameplay without at least one of them being in the nightclub would be like trying to eat super cereal with a fork it just doesn't work and because of this y'all know what we're gonna do right huh that's right you guessed it we're skipping those but only to talk about the two other clips real quick one in the critically acclaimed museum and one in some brother's apartment. We'll revisit those nightclub ones later. Now let's start off by saying that these two new clips were sexy as hell. In the first clip, the museum clip, we learned that our main character has power, something like Spidey sets or observation hockey because there's no other explanation as to how he knew to duck right at this moment. Now there are only a few possibilities in which the main character knew to react in the way that he did. I got a few theories, all of which are completely accurate. The first theory is that the main character actually used the Tamality Stone, which is disguised as a pennant around his neck. What's the Tamality Stone you ask? Well, it's the combination of the Time Stone and the Reality Stone, and the main character used it to slow down time in the enemy's reality to then speed time back up to execute his attack. For the second theory, it's possible that the main character is actually Spider-Man and uses Spider-Sense to get the drop on the enemy. Now, of course, it is also possible, theory three, that the main character is actually from One Piece and mastered the color of hockey observation and saw five seconds into the future and planned accordingly. Or the last and certainly least accurate of these theories is that the person playing the game for this clip is actually a developer and they knew the guy was gonna be there because they put him there to show off the mastery you'll be able to achieve after getting clapped a few times. Now y'all can choose which theory is your favorite. They're all correct because I came up with them. Oh, except for the last one, because that's complete BS, of course. But drop which theory you think is the most accurate down in the comments. Yeah. But real quick, before we continue this conversation, I feel as though it's my responsibility to inform you that you're all wrong. Because the truth is, the main character is actually the Spider-Man from the Amazing Spider-Man Spider Island comics, where your regular on the block Spidey hero actually lost his Spidey sense and had to learn Kung Fu from Shang-Chi called The Way of the Spider. But because y'all was so close, y'all know I still love you. You know what I mean? Now this clip was sexy because, well, first, one of my favorite things that I've witnessed while watching all of the Sifu trailers are the dodges the main character executes. Like in the first gameplay trailer, when he rolled over the couch to dodge a kick, it was just beautiful. And in this clip, she rolls over the table and then does the second to none most sexiest way of acquiring a weapon. Well, alright, the only thing possibly sexier is catching a weapon, throwing a shot at you, and then throwing or shooting it back. But I still think this kick up joint is sexier. Kind of. But I digress. Now for the two nightclub clips, y'all yeah, already know how this shit goes. L1 parry the square counter first enemy. Left analog stick back pedal. L1 parry. R1 perfect duck dodge. During stand up square plus X takedown. Damage the second enemy. Hyper extended elbow. Recovery several weeks. Mental damage. Negative thoughts. Something like, damn I'm really ass or damn that shit really hurt it. I picked the wrong one. Recovery time? However long it takes to get over regret. Main character, talking hella shit, which is expected because these enemies ass. <laughs> second clip, left analog stake backpedal. Square elbow first enemy. L1 perfect parry second enemy's right hook. Third enemy whiffs. Square underhand punch third enemy. Left analog stick flick right, X right side kick fourth enemy. Triangle straight punch fourth enemy. Left analog stick flick left, triangle roundhouse elbow second and third enemy. Damage to second and third enemy, broken noses. State of consciousness, altered. Physical recovery time, three to four weeks apiece. Mental recovery time, three to four years. Complete loss of confidence. Main character, 
goaded. But with all that aside, I appreciate y'all for coming here and staying with your boy. And I was gone for a month and I apologizing for that. Y'all get a double upload today. I told y'all I was going to start the Scarlet Nexus playthrough. So I'm going to have that video up same time as this one. So y'all go over and check that shit out. I have a list of games I'm probably going to play on the channel. A lot of them are coming from Chinese developing games. And I should tell y'all to look out for them shits. Because a lot of games that you think are new in style or got it from something else. They actually came from those developers, those games. Case in point, Sekiro. I mean, some people would think that some games coming out got something off of Sekiro, but Sekiro actually got their style off of a lot of the Chinese developed games that came before it. So we'll get into that later. But I'm gonna catch y'all on the next vid, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace. Mm, it's Empire. 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 You don't need no other. Shake that dunk. I wanna bounce already. Baby, left cheek, baby, right cheek, 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 baby, left